Wow! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol H O O D Robinhood. So, this is a stock that debuted last week on the NASDAQ. I did a video here on the channel talking about it. So, if you didn't watch that video, I'm going to hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out. Um, so, today, this stock has made some tremendous moves. So, that's what I want us um, to cover. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So, if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Robinhood debuted last week on the NASDAQ and I again, like I said, I did a video here telling you guys about it, but there's certain things that I didn't take into account in that video and I'm going to admit that here. Um, the first one is, again, first and only is that I didn't anticipate that ARK Invest or Kathy Wood was going to jump on this stock like she did. If I anticipated that, then I would have changed my tone on the stock. Because remember, in that video, I specifically said that I wasn't going to hold Robinhood long term. I was just going to trade it. Um, but Kathy Wood jumped on this thing. Um, like, I mean, she went crazy on it. So again, that's something that I didn't anticipate uh, when I talked about uh, in that video. And so Robinhood is killing it. So let's jump right here and just going to take a look at the news here. As you guys can see, um, you know, Wood Act Innovation ETF on Tuesday disclosed that the, that it held about 4.9 million um, uh, shares of Robinhood stock. That's about uh, 0 0.8 two percent uh, of the fund so again we know kathy wood does she has an active fund so they would buy and sell you know reduce the position as needed so if you can see here they bought this stock and i mean i think when it was i was trading about 38 dollars and then it just went crazy so let's jump right here take a look this is the stock today uh and i'm doing this this particular video on august 3rd so if you can see here um it opened the morning at about 37 and some change um squeeze all the way and, and close about 4680 if you can see here 4680 that, that was a 24.2 uh percent increase for that day uh but if you can see here um, after hours, again, this is where even went crazy. After hours, the thing ran 11.65%. So it's now sitting at 52.25%. That is after hours. So if you are looking that this thing is going to open up the, the, on the 4th, it's going to open up pretty big, in my opinion. Um, it's probably going to spike. So we might see Robinhood open up and test 60, if not even 65 um, and then I, I know for sure Kathy Wood, again, with her um, active managed fund, they're going to start trimming down their positions, taking some profit, um, moving things around, which is what they are really good at doing. So, and again, guys, I don't see any other catalyst that Robin Hood is going to do right now to really say this stock deserves to make a massive move beside the fact that uh, Act, uh, Invest is really jumping on. And I wanna see, uh, I'm gonna do some research and I'm, once, once I get done with that, I'm gonna bring it back to you guys here on the channel when I wanna see how much uh, uh, of the stock is held by institutions. So usually that gives an idea um, as to where it's going because if institutions are feeling good about it and then you anticipate that it's gonna go. So again, you can see here Jim Cramer on uh, Monday they also said Robin Hood stock was still worth buying given it appealed to younger investors. So we have two high profile individuals here in Kathy Wood and her Act Invest ETF and Jim Cramer pushing for this particular stock. So what do you think is going to happen? This stock is going to go up. But at this particular point, um, I don't know for people that want to hold this long term. Again, if you want to hold it long term, as I said, like under under that uh, 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 no, 35 that it started at, I would have been, that would have been a good spot for you to go in. But still, if it's long term, you can start looking for a little pull back here and start building a position. Because if these guys keep hyping this stock like they're doing, don't, don't hesitate here to see that um, if uh, you no know, Reddit people jump into it, this can you can see a short squeeze here that is just going to go crazy. So again, there's a lot of talk about Robinhood, high profile individuals talking about it, Kathy Wood loading on the stock. So again, for me, I'm going to trade it. I don't plan on buying and holding in long term just yet. 
I'm not saying I'll never, but again, just for now, I'm not planning on doing it because I, I think this thing is still going to pull back at some point. Uh, once it pulls back, then I might reconsider based on uh, my, my, you know, my liquidity and based on what I have in my portfolio at that particular time. So again, Robin Hood guys, after I was here, just popped like crazy today trading a popped. Um, so again, keep an eye on this one um, tomorrow the 4th to see what this stock does. Again, like I said, my prediction here is that this thing is probably going to test maybe 65 uh, for a high and before uh, really feeling some, some heat and then start thing of consolidating or even pulling back uh, from that point. So that's why uh, I'm going to be doing. But again, I anticipate a lot of volume um, in this stock. It, uh, on the fourth when people start trading it because when people open up when the market opens up on the fourth people are going to be like whoa what just happened you're going to see tremendous amount of volume uh coming into this stock so that's what i wanted to cover in this video guys again if you got into robin hood congratulations to you for jumping in there and taking that profit or if you didn't get into the stock if you just day traded it like i did again you have to know what works best for you so decide how you want to approach this again if you are jumping in this stock now because it's hitting these new highs you are already late because people like kathy wood and all these other uh investors they're really looking at what their exit point they're looking at where to make profit if you see that thing is really run up 25 percent that's a huge amount of profit for people that are that own 4.9 million shares think about it if you go from 35 to 55 dollars and you own 4.9 million shares that is a lot of money so you don't want to compare yourself with them so be very careful be very very careful uh for you retail investors that are looking to get into robin hood if you bought the ipo price i mean congrats again uh but if you didn't give yourself a good opportunity find a good entry point and wait for that price to come back to you um it's going to come back trust me don't hesitate to just jump in FOMO is a disease that really kills investors. And so if you jump in because of FOMO, you're going to buy at that tip now. Then when it pulls back, you're going to be in the red and then fingers crossed, hoping that goes back up. You don't want to be in that situation. So definitely uh, be patient here. You can trade it like I'm going to trade it um, tomorrow. And again, I'm not buying the whole long term. I'm going to take advantage of the situation. If it goes up, I'm going to uh, take some profit there. But um, long term wise, I still have to reconsider. So let me know in the comment section. Did you buy Robin Hood at the IPO? Do you currently hold the stock? If yes, what is your strategy? Do you plan on selling and then buying the dip? Or do you just want to hold it for the long haul? Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks at no cost to you. Again, I'll put the links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.